Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the On the Pony Express podcast. I am Billy Embody coming at you with a breaking news edition of the pod as Tennessee point guard transfer and former four-star recruit B.J. Edwards has committed to SMU, he announced. He's headed to play his final three years of eligibility with the Mustangs in really what I would call uh, – a place where you can maybe feel a little bit at home in a sense. If you're leaving home, you played for your hometown college in Tennessee. He came out of Knoxville Catholic high school, played for Rick Barnes one year. He's out the door and going to play for Rob Lanier who coached for Rick Barnes for many, many years um, as an assistant. And so this one made a lot of sense. I mentioned it on the podcast earlier this week as SMU um, it was making a push for a former four-star prospect. They had a plan at point guard, and BJ Edwards is that plan. Now, you look about you, you look at kind of how his career at Tennessee went. Um, he played in 14 games as a freshman, no starts. Um, they are uh, it's kind of a mixed bag, really. And it seems seems like um a guy with kind of out with, without a plan in place for him. And what I mean by that is as you look at Tennessee's backcourt and maybe the, the logical next move, it would have been for BJ Edwards to have a bigger role. But that said, he was playing multiple spots in the backcourt. Um, it never really from what I've gathered from some balls fans and, and some insiders on their side of things is that he never had a chance to really settle in at that point guard position. And he ends up, now leaving, looking for a, a bigger opportunity at the point guard position elsewhere. Um, he was the number 96 overall prospect in the country on on threes industry rankings. Um, and now he's headed to SMU. And I think with BJ Edwards, this is where you've got to rely on Rob Lanier and his staff to bring in someone um, who really didn't have a big role. At Tennessee, he had he went just six of twelve from the field, um, so he shot fifty percent, which isn't bad, of course. Um, went uh, two of five from three point range, um, good for an average of one point two points, point six rebounds per game. He had six assists on the year. Um, this is a guy that had a very limited role, and honestly, when you look at college basketball, he probably should have redshirted. I mean, he put, he burned his red shirt, um, and and didn't have a role um, really quite, quite honestly at all. Um, He only hit double digit minutes once, uh, which came against South Carolina and SEC play and against Alcorn state. Um, But he's somebody that you can kind of see it long-term being a really smooth operator at the point guard position. What I mean by that is coming out of high school, he's really crafty, um, kind of a slasher, a guy who can get to the rim. Um, He's able to shoot the ball relatively well. Um, But he's much more of a guy who would rather get to the rim and get a basket, draw a foul. Um, He did go three for four from the line this year. Um, He has a nice floater that he's displayed at at times as well. Uh, But in talking with some different sources, I think he was basically viewed as a multi-tool player for Tennessee. And he wants to be a point guard. And that was really where I think the the hang-up was for uh, B.J. Edwards and Tennessee. He's going to be a good point guard at some point in the future, uh, much more of a point guard than an off-the-ball guy, but he played really all the way around. Um, He wasn't going to play much next season, would have played a ton as a junior, but opted to not wait around for that. Um, So this is where fit comes into play. You've got a need for a point guard. SMU has also added Den- Denver Anglin and Chuck Harris to this backcourt. They have Zurich Phelps returning. They have Jalen Smith returning. Um, this is where, as a coaching staff, you have to really share the plan with the player, and that player's got to trust you. And I think that's where Rob Lanier comes into the fold here as a guy that Rick Barnes will vouch for. And that's why this one really didn't take too long to come together. Um, he was great. Um, with Jordan Bone at Tennessee, be, meaning Rob Lanier. And uh, the similarities between Bone and BJ's games are kind of there from a projectable re- level 
um, and talking to different people that have been around the program a long time at Tennessee. So SMU gets a point guard here in BJ Edwards. I think this is a really smart land for SMU. They get a kid who, um, you know, quite frankly, um, was not used uh, probably the way he wanted to, and his future was maybe a little farther farther away than he wanted to. But I'll, I'll kind of share this. Here's a quote from uh, Rick Barnes before this season. We think B.J. Edwards has a terrific future ahead of him. He has a good feel for the game and understands how to play basketball. Like all freshmen coming in, he'll need to get his body to get in shape. He needs to compete at, at this level. He'll continue to work on all parts of his game, but we're excited about him because he can give us some versatility and play any of the three perimeter spots on the court. So that's, I think, where the hangup is. And, you know, a, a lot of Tennessee fans, I mean, you go over to their board when he entered the transfer portal, VolQuest.com on on three, and they're most of them are pretty pissed, um, for lack of a better term, that uh, BJ Edwards is not going to stick around. So um, he's somebody that doesn't flash with necessarily that explosiveness. He doesn't have maybe the hops of like a Jalen Smith, but he's very smooth. And I think that's where SMU needed a point guard to come into play, a guy that they can rely on maybe to come into his own to really take over. Um, the reins a little bit. And while he hasn't played a lot, um, he's played in a ultra competitive backcourt for one of the best teams, you know, year in, year out around the country and a, and a coach that knows how to develop point guards as well in Rick Barnes. So um, that is uh, SMU's big pickup in the backcourt. They did host Jaden Reed for an official visit, the unsigned 2023 point guard. I'm interested to see how they go um, with that recruitment now. And then one other quick note, um, because as we basically got done recording the last podcast, Mitchell Holmes did reclassify to 2024, the 6'11 big man, uh, who's going to go play for Link Academy. So he was down at SMU in Auburn, but he's opting to go ahead and reclass to 2024. So a big shakeup in the front court for SMU in terms of targets now. Uh, but that is really um, kind of the latest on SMU basketball. Um, they get their point guard of the future um, in B.J. Edwards, in my opinion. And uh, we'll kind of see where they go from here as they look to round out this roster. So the fifth transfer edition for SMU is on board with B.J. Edwards joining Chuck uh, Harris and Denver Anglin in the backcourt, as well as Tyreek Smith and Jaheim Hudson in the front court. So with that, guys, I'm going to wrap up this short edition of the podcast, but wanted to give you my reaction to uh, the B.J. Edwards news for SMU basketball and kind of what it means. And we'll continue to track all the latest on SMU basketball at OnThePonyExpress.com. So be sure to keep it locked on our YouTube channel as well as OnThePonyExpress.com. Subscribe for $30 to get six months of coverage, and we will have you guys handled on all things recruiting and transfer portal rated related. So with that, hope you guys enjoyed this edition of the podcast and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for listening.